assalamu alaikum dear students i hope you all are good so welcome to lecture number 8 today we will uh, solve question from exercise 3b so question number 2 d part is given here x plus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3y plus c plus 7z we solved uh, work example number 4 which is same as question number 2 uh, so uh, today we will solve this question and further learn about how we can simplify expressions so we have x plus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3y plus c plus 7z now we want to solve it we can see here here we have bracket so first we will solve the uh, value uh, includes in bracket so if we solve it we can see here 3 is multiplied with 2x so this will become 3 multiplied by 2x then 3 is multiplied with 3y so 3 multiplied by minus 3y because here we have negative sign with 3y and then 3 is multiplied with z so 3 multiplied by z and sign of z will remain same no if we simplify it this will become x will remain same plus 3 to the 6 so this will become 6x and here we can see here there is a positive sign with 3 and negative sign with 3y so when we multiply plus with minus we know that plus multiplied by minus is equal to minus so this will become plus minus minus 3 3s are 9 and y will remain same so this is 9y plus when we multiply 3 with z so this will become 3z and plus 7z will remain same okay now if we want to simplify it we can see here these are like terms these are also like terms so we will simplify these terms x plus 6x so when we add these terms this will become 7x because this is 6x and this is 1x we already know if there is no value with variable there, there must be 1 So this will become seven x minus nine y will remain same because there is no other value of y, and this is three z plus seven z. And when we add these terms, this will become three plus seven. We know uh, is equal to ten, so this will become ten ten z. So this is the solution for part B. Now you will solve part B of question number two, exercise three B. Thank you so much.